I'm Coop, this is the Elite Stockade Review. These were released in the UK a long time ago, but now they've just hit the States, so I'm reviewing it. Right to the unboxing. Included with this blaster is the blaster itself, the removable stock, a few elite darts, and the instructions. Just starting with the back, this is a removable in-strike stock. This is a pretty sturdy stock relative to many other um, Nerf stocks. It is very thin, but it does hold its weight pretty well. It's pretty comfortable, and there are uh, dart holders on either side. These ones are empty, and these ones have elite darts in them. The back of the blaster does have a stock stub, allowing you to attach any in-strike stock. The grip is very large and very comfortable. I'm a pretty big person, and I have no complaints there. Sling or lanyard mount here. On this side, this little switch turns on your motors. There's pros and cons to this. Um, when you turn your blaster on and the motors are always revving, that's good because you always have a dart ready to go. Your motors are already at max RPM, so you can release a dart at max range. It is kind of annoying, though, to have it on all the time. Like, if I even tried to give this review with that buzzing, that's just annoying. You can only pull the trigger when the uh, motor switch is actually on. Trigger pull is a bit sloppy. You are rotating the mech and ejecting your little poker arm into the dart, so there is a lot going on there, so it makes sense. And if you pull the trigger too quickly, you can actually make the little slip clutch, um, well, slip. And it is supposed to disengage when you want to manually rotate the turret, but if you pull the trigger too quickly, you can get the cylinder to move um, too fast and actually, like, jam or cause a mix-up. Up here is an in-strike rail, which allows you to attach any sights. This is the access door. You can't rev the motors if that's open. That allows you to get your finger in there to clear out jams. And nothing special up here. This is the front sight to align your shots. This is not compatible with other in-strike barrel attachments, so that's just how it's going to be. Overall, with the externals, pretty comfortable blaster. I'm a big fan of this stock. It's very, very stable, even if you press a lot of pressure into it. I haven't range tested it, but it's firing just as far as the other flywheel elite guns which is pretty far. The springers shoot a little bit further than the flywheel blasters, but no complaints there because you have sweet rate of fire with the flywheel. Going over my opinion, overall, pretty high. I do like this blaster for the price. I think it's pretty fair. Again, this was about 20 US dollars. I don't think I'd personally use a stockade because you're already getting decreased accuracy with the elite darts, and the flywheels are great, don't get me wrong, but if you're going to go to that, you might as well go to magazines because it makes overall reload time much faster. And the strife is approximately the same size, uh, and you can get a much bigger magazine for that. But I can't complain about this blaster because it functions just fine, it fires just fine. It's just my opinion of why would you use this when you should use uh, magazines, and that's just my opinion, of course. One benefit of a turret rather than magazines is being able to front load while you're ready to go. So you could have it on, ready to fire, and then push darts in there while you're actually ready. Whereas if you have a box magazine that's actually detachable, once it's in there, you cannot reload that magazine without taking it out. So you are vulnerable while you're reloading. So pros and cons with magazine turret. Uh, that's just my opinion. But it's a well-made blaster uh, for 20 bucks. I'm definitely happy with the purchase. I think I'd honestly spend $20 just on this stock because I really, really like it. So if you're looking for something like this or you like the appearance, absolutely no reason not to buy this blaster um, if you're okay with the, the turret. Overall, pretty happy with the stockade. I will post a link in the description box to where you could buy it or check your local shops. Um, I, again, bought this at Walmart for 20 US dollars. So that's it. Thanks for watching. You can bend darts in and load it without moving it, but this orange button here is actually there to pop the cylinder out of the blaster. This makes loading pretty easy. And to put the cylinder back in, you just force it in.